Welcome to Watch Symposium, I'm Austin. All right, so this is a follow-up video to that last video I made. Link in the description if you haven't seen it. I had my Explorer 2 on a NATO strap. I said I was gonna change it. Well, not quite. It's still on a NATO strap, a different one. Um, here it is. What do you guys think of this strap? I'll give you guys some good footage at the end of this video, but I have to say, this is probably my favorite NATO strap. I think it works really well with this watch and with the sub as well. I love that, that those white stripes. And it's just uh, a little bit more classy than the US of A one. Um, I agree with a lot of the comments, which range from you know, pretty negative towards towards a NATO to it cheapens the watch to I prefer the bracelet. Absolutely, um, I prefer the bracelet 100%. Um, and yeah, it does cheapen the watch. Now, I've thought about getting a head-only watch and one of the reasons is because I'd like to come to grips and accept the idea that your watch really is the head. That's the watch. And the strap or the bracelet is something extra. Um, but is that really the case with, say, a Sub or a GMT or an Explorer 2? And it's really not because the bracelets are so much a part of it. I mean, they're, they're not, you know, uh, you can change the the bracelet, but why would you? Um, well, for me, it was just to get a little bit of a different look, a little bit of a different feel, just something different for a little while. That's it. But there really is nothing as as good as the actual bracelet it came with. And while the idea of getting a head only watch. With, without the dedicated bracelet to sort of force me to come to grips with using other straps. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, probably not, because knowing myself, it would, it would bother me and after a while, I would start trying to source a bracelet, which would be another expense and uh, defeat the purpose. And then I have a bracelet that goes with it, but that it wasn't born with, then it gets kind of weird. So uh, I'll probably never ever get a head only watch. Um, but but I, I probably will every now and then put this on. And um, I think it was Mr. McManus uh, said in, in the end of his comment, something like the fact that I put it, put this watch on a NATO means that it indicates that it's it's not my core logical soulmate. I'd have to disagree there because I would do this with any watch, just about any watch. The, the exceptions would be if I had a non-holes case. I don't think I would risk it. You know, if you have the holes case, it's, it's an easy operation. And almost more importantly, you really know when when you click those spring bars back into the holes. You can see it. But with a no holes case, you can't, and you have to kind of go on faith that it's there. And you know, you can hear the click, but I've had my, I want to say my Orient Blue Mako where I thought I, 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 th I thought I made that connection. I thought the spring bars were back in the holes properly, and then they popped off. And so uh, that would give me some unease. So I, I probably wouldn't fiddle with straps if I had a whole uh, non-holes case Rolex. But pretty much any Rolex that has a holes case, I, I think I would do that with, whether, whether it's a, a date just and putting it on a leather strap or, or a GMT or whatnot. It's just, it's just, I don't think it's an indication that this is not my, my watch, you know, my, my horological soulmate, if you will. Um, you know, that's debatable. If I had, I mean, if somebody just were to say, hey, look, we're, we're, every watch you have is gonna disappear, except for one, you gotta choose. Well, it would obviously be the GMT Master II, um, partially because of the condition, the box, the papers, all that, but I 
I do like the GMT Master II a little bit more than this, just like a degree more. So in that sense, maybe uh, this isn't my horological soulmate, but it's 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 up there. It's good enough. It's good enough, and and I can I can of course uh, use the GMT Master II uh, the way I like to use it, which is to hoard it. I'll make another video on that. I know I drive where car 54 crazy. He's like, put the damn thing on. Um, okay, hold. We'll, we'll adjust that in another video, where car. But um, but even the GMT Master 2, if that was my only watch and I was wearing it, I, I would still every now and then break out a, a, a NATO and a different strap. So it's just something we watch guys do. It's like getting your wife to put on a wig or, uh, you know, Go into the Love Hotel and, and you know you can call the front desk and have them send up uh, different uniforms, uh, the, the schoolgirl uniform or the nurse uniform. Doesn't, doesn't mean you don't love your partner the way she is, but hey, sometimes uh, the stewardess look works, right? That's some Japanese culture for you right there. All right, so, um, okay, so anyway, um, why did I put this one on? Uh, well. I was actually, and, and this goes into why you might not want a NATO. Um, okay, they are safer. Uh, well, no, I don't want to say they're safer, but you've got, if one of my spring bars fail, fails, then I've got another one holding on the watch. So if you are in a situation where you think some stress might be put on your watch and, and, and you, could, you could lose your watch, I want to say you might be... Uh, it might be wise to go with the NATO, but look, we're talking strong spring bars in, on these Rolexes and, and the bracelets. So I, I really, uh, I think that's something you don't have to worry about. But all I'm saying is if one of my spring bars fails at this moment, uh, it's fine. It, it, my, my, the head of my watch will still be attached to my wrist. Whereas if that happens on a boat and the, the watch will fall off your wrist and it could watches have been lost in the sea like that so it's just something to consider but but there was a drawback to these and I had it happen the other day I was I was taking a, a night walk with my daughters which is like a new custom we take a walk after dinner and we walk through a field long story short uh, their feet got dirt uh, on them and so we got home and I had to shower off their feet and I, I'm you know here I'm carrying both daughters so they don't they don't dirty up the floor and I and it, which it just was a situation where I couldn't take my watch off and I'm showering them and inadvertently I got my my arms wet and my NATO wet and there's nothing more uncomfortable than a wet NATO so I took my watch off I laid it down for a couple of minutes and I thought I can't wait I don't want to wait for it to dry so I just put this NATO on and and um, yeah I, I'll, I'll put on the dedicated bracelet soon enough but my whole point there is that NATOs get wet and and the dedicated bracelets well they don't absorb water obviously so you can just towel them off and and put them back on and it's much more comfortable while whereas a NATO you're gonna have to let it dry and on your wrist that can be really uncomfortable so when water's involved there's not gonna be any damage but it's gonna make for an uncomfortable experience. So I wouldn't wear a NATO in, in a wet environment. So that was a realization, not like it's a new one. I mean, I, I know not to get my NATOs wet because they absorb water, but uh, it sort of was really brought home when, when I was in that situation. It also brought home how much I love having a waterproof watch. Um, obviously, if I had time, I would have taken off my watch just to, just to, Keep myself from having to dry it off but really wasn't um it, it didn't work with what was happening and and it's great to have a watch that can take it no matter what so uh love those oysters anyway i'm with you guys i'm not in the natos uh but sometimes sometimes Na natos are one of those things when you're rocking a nato it's much cooler than when you see a person rocking a NATO. Whenever I see a person rocking a NATO, I always think, where's the bracelet? Does it have a bracelet? I hope it has a bracelet. 
why did he change it? Is it just because it's comfortable? Does he, does he not have a bracelet? It looks better with a bracelet. Uh, no matter what, I always think a watch on a NATO is lacking. And, and you can't beat those dedicated bracelets. Hey, if I wanna switch the bracelets up with us, I need to get that Jubilee. I've been dragging my feet on that. It's, I've been putting that off for a long time, but it's gonna have to happen soon. All right, I've gotta have to talk myself into it. The Jubilee for the GMT, but I'm gonna use it on this, and that's gonna give me the waster and the Jubilee to go back and forth, and that's, boy, I'll never look back at the NATOs when I do that. Well, I probably will. But anyway, take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time.